It's that lovely time of year that all of us sportsmen love to hate when there's way too many things to do and not nearly enough time to do it. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. It is a windy day here in southern Wisconsin and I've decided to come out, let's see how the light treats us, and fish with Mr. Colin Schlicht. He's the guy behind me trying to fish back here. Hardcore Hookin' is the name of his guide service here in southern Wisconsin. If you'd like to go out and chase muskies or anything else that swims for that matter, you should look him up. I will leave his particulars in the description below. Uh, we're out here chasing muskies though. We've got probably pre-turnover conditions. The water's mid-50s right now. It's relatively clear other than the fact that the wind is blowing a lot and muddying up some areas. But for the most part, you know, weeds are good, water's clear. Uh, we should have good conditions this afternoon. We started a little bit later because for the most part in the fall, that's just what you do. And we're lazy. That's, that enters into it as well. Um, but we're gonna get fishing. We're gonna see if we can put a muskie in the boat and we're gonna show you how we do it. <laughs> All right, folks, I am gonna start off throwing a mid Medusa, kind of a beat up one, but this is one of my favorite colors, kind of a perch pattern. Colin says that is a go-to out here. I'm throwing it on a nine foot shock and awe assault stick 2020 Tranks 500. Uh, that's the rig I'm throwing. Colin is throwing a Hellhound Glide on, what do you got there? 10 foot? Uh, we got a 10 foot SWAT. 10 foot SWAT, all right. With a Revo Beast high speed reel. Perfect, so that's what we're throwing today, folks. We're gonna see if we can catch one of these dumb things and not go crazy doing it. Oh, he's got a weed on him, but I don't see a fish there. Oops. Oh, God. God. Yep. Ah, baby. <laughs> Little guy. Should we just grab him? Yeah, grab him. Okay. <laughs> what were you thinking? What are you thinking? You're <laughs> They're pretty little buggers, aren't so they? Cute. <laughs> All right, little guy. All right. Go get big. Yeah. Go get big. Future 50 incher, right? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh boy, what's going on there? Whew. Yeah. yeah. Get two to get one. I'm counting it. <laughs> <laughs> First fish of the day, baby. Uh, we've been battling a little bit of wind here, but uh, I don't know. It's not that bad and uh, if you're fishing with it and it's actually keeping us away from the crowds. There's quite a few people out here today, not a ton, but uh, yeah, we've got this whole shoreline to ourselves. Hopefully we can get into something a little bit bigger. Okay. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh, stay ten, baby. Stay ten, please. Stay ten. Let me know if you need, need me to move. No. Nope. Uh, okay. Yeah, go to that deck. Go to that deck. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep, yep. Oh, we got him. We got him. Good net. We got him. Whoo! <laughs> yes, buddy. Talk about it. Just got to get off that snide. That's awesome. All right. Where do you usually deal with them? Right up here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can grab them here. Um, okay. All right. Nicely done, man. I had that What's... one thing. Yeah. I saw him come up right here. He hesitated. Yep. And I did one more and let it hang. Nailed it. Yep. Nicely done, man. That's cool. All right. Awesome fish, dude. A little short nose on her. Yeah. 
pretty pale for uh, for out here, but beautiful fish, man. Thank you. Alrighty. And a good net job. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her back. Yeah. Ooh, she wants to go. Oh, but I'm not ready to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long afternoon. There she goes. Awesome. <laughs> Way to go. Nicely done, buddy. All right. Well, that's our second fish of the day. The first one kind of worth talking about. Uh, although that first guy was a pretty little guy. What do you think that was? 37, Seven? give or take? Yeah. Okay. I'll put it within an inch. All right. Perfect. A nice fish for southern Wisconsin. Um, there's definitely bigger ones in here. Oh, that got a little shadow in the way. Uh, there's definitely bigger fish in here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep plugging away. Hopefully this is the start of it. That's the first fish that we've had come up that's shown any, first real fish that's really come up. I guess Colin had one earlier, um, but yeah, we got things going and I keep passing through this stupid shadow, so I'm just gonna quit talking and we'll get back to fishing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Yes. Cool, man. I'm going to I'm going to just keep trying to f catch one, I suppose. You just keep doing it. <laughs> And they are digging that hellhound. Yeah. That's a pretty fish, man. Yeah, I think I could I think I could pinch a tail to 30. <laughs> That's a tournament fish right there, That's man. Right. That's right. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna hit the board and be, be worth a few points. There we go. Lovely little tail kick that we all like to see. Nicely done, dude. Thank you. All right, well, we're not tearing it up size-wise, but we're catching some fish. That's four muskies in the boat. A um, Couple little guys, that was a decent one. Um, as far as muskies go, I guess. And then we have one that's 38-ish. We didn't measure any of these, um, but we've got some fish in the boat, all on glides. Colin says this is the time of year to use glide baits out here whether it's hellhounds or you know some of the chaos tackle stuff uh the blunt nose round nose from kodiak any of those baits should work out here just fishing over weeds that's all we're doing in probably what six to ten feet of water yeah yeah we're just trying to catch the little ones and get those out of the way <laughs> we go back and get the big ones later he's getting all the little ones out of the way so i can catch a big one yeah. We'll Thank see. <laughs> it's what the guide's supposed to do. <laughs> All right, well, I better quit yapping and, and try to catch one of these things, actually. All right, everybody, I just want to jump in real quick before this last fish that we see come to the boat. We fished after dark for a little bit, and there's something unique that Colin has done to his boat. He put uh, some green LED rope lights on the outside edge of the boat so that you can, when you're night fishing, you can see 100% legal. Uh, he's checked all the regulations. The color's okay as long as, I, th I think it, you'd have to look it up, I guess, but I think as long as it's separated from the red-green up front, uh, like I said, this is perfectly legit, so not breaking any laws. He's He's checked all the regulations and everything, so I just wanted to address that really quick, but it really it makes night fishing pretty fun because you can really see that fish coming and I was surprised but so can the cameras so um, it's not quite like daylight obviously but it's uh, really cool and give, gives us an opportunity to fish a little bit later at night and you can actually see those fish come in and do your figure eights with without you know just doing them blind you can actually see that fish coming really cool really unique so We'll look at that real quick, the last fish of the night, and then we'll wrap this up. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. He's going for it. He's going for it. You got him. You got him. You got him. Oh, oh, oh. No, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come back for it, baby. Come on. Come on. I think he got just oh, enough. Just, just enough hook in him that he couldn't. Oh. Dang it. And there are the good there, nights. There it was. <laughs> Dang it. That was awesome. That was so cool. That was awesome. That was a decent fish too. It was a nice little fish. Yeah. For sure. Oh. Make a few more casts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that after dark footage. It's a pretty neat experience fishing with lights like that. It makes night fishing a lot more enjoyable for me anyway. I I really thought it was neat. And Colin and I have talked about uh, trying to get some more footage like that. Hopefully, hopefully next year. And if you need a musky guide in southern wisconsin uh, colin is excellent so please hit him up i will leave his uh, particulars in the description below so you can check him out and with that that's it for this week's video we've still got stuff from eagle lake we still got stuff from iowa we've got some stuff from southern wisconsin so we still have stuff coming we might do a little bit of ice fishing maybe some multi-species if there's something you'd like to see throw it in the uh, comments below. We'll see what we can do, but that's that for now. And with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching and I'll see you on the next video.